Do you know that SpaceX engineers made a pizza robot machine? Today I'm gonna show you what an ex-engineer from SpaceX did it here in Los Angeles. A food truck that move around Los Angeles that have inside a robot to make a really, really good pizza. A space pizza. Hey, nice um, to meet you. Uh, I'm, I'm... Giovanni, nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, nice to meet Hi. you. Hi, welcome. Did you already order? No, I don't know how to do that. What kind of pizza would you like? Uh, what do you have? So cheese is the best for understanding our texture, our flavor. We are not Neapolitan pizza. We, we are American pizza. pizza. So I'm gonna just get you a cheese and then a, a, maybe a meat lover's. Meat lover, lover. Okay. I love meat lover. Okay, let me get the order in. Okay. okay. Siamo entrati in contatto col contatto che aveva Buddy Bay, sa tutto magico, ragazzi. Allora, qui fanno vedere i video, non so se sono in tempo reale. 26. This is what is happening in the truck. Hi, my name is Benson Tsai. I am nice the CEO and uh, founder, one of the founders of Stellar Pizza. Okay. I left my job at SpaceX working for Elon Musk. Ah, you are the guy. I was there for five years. I designed spaceship batteries. I designed uh, satellite batteries and rocket batteries. But I realized I wanted to solve problems here on Earth. I think the cost of living food is so expensive now that robotics can really, really make a difference in the restaurant industry. We take the cost savings we get from robotics we pay for higher quality ingredients. When you taste our pepperoni or taste our cheese, you will notice the difference over any fast food I, restaurant. I feel the smell. You can smell, I smell it. Feel you can smell, smell it. it. And then the robots also allow us to share our cost savings with the customer. So How much is for one pizza? So one pizza right now, is cheese pizza is $7.95. $7.95. Just to know, yeah. every lunch for a slice of pizza is four dollars. The long-term vision is actually food delivery. So okay. we can cook and move. We can drive. Okay. We can actually have a vehicle, like you order on your phone, on your couch at home. The restaurant drives to you while oh. it's cooking and it will deliver you the hottest, freshest. My engineering team, the team that designed this machine, actually are all from space, almost all from SpaceX. So okay. we have about 30 engineers from SpaceX. Everything you see here, from the dough, to the dough press, to the cheese and sauce dispense, all of this is designed by us. Uh, we have four systems in here. We store dough, we open the dough, right? Press the dough open, and then we add toppings, and then we cook. So this is dough storage, right? We store 420 pizzas. Is it levitated? How much time? Uh, we do about three days. And then here is our dough press. So then there. The dough is ready for toppings. And it's out the board. Yeah. I have a big question for you. Yeah. I spent a lot of time traveling around the world and I visit two places like this one. The first one is I want to know what you think about Spazzi Pizza. I tried the first robot who does pizza. Oh, uh, yeah. So the company is no longer. Uh, operating. So I have opinions about uh, using robot arms. You'll notice there's not a single robot arm. Oh. You don't need a robot arm. That's, they, for, they, that's for the marketing. Yeah, yeah. If I wanted to make a good marketing video, I would design two robot arms to throw the dough in the air. But that doesn't help you. Do, it's not necessary. So okay. we, again, as I said earlier, the robot is in service. It is producing good food. We don't need to put on a show. That's the first one. Yeah. I have another one yes. that is not good. It's the Pizza Express and it's a Pizza Mr. Go. It's a, it's a vending machine. It's a vending machine it was new in Italy. What do you think about the vending machine that yeah. is like not the same thing, yeah. but almost. Uh, the process is similar, but then you need to make sure the recipe is really good. And and if you're a vending machine, you can't have a human there. So we want to make sure that we don't change the experience of eating pizza, and the robots just make good pizzas. How much time for one pizza? Uh, four and a half minutes. Okay. Our cook time, you'll see, is about two minutes and 15 seconds. I want to feel the taste. Here you go. Well, oh. look at that. <laughs> what? Um, okay, so so let's take a look here. This is our, this is our uh, oh. meat lover. Okay. L'odore, the smell is uh, incredible. And this is cheese. Cheese pizza. Let me feel the dough. Okay. It's soft. It's, a, it's been living, living in a lot. Okay. But I want to try that one. That's a lot of cheese. You cheese can choose. No, you can choose the machine how much cheese you want. Very cheesy. Very cheesy. The taste of this pizza was really amazing. I cannot believe that. I'm an Italian guy that can't say this is a world pizza outside of Italy and it's not expensive. It's like $8 for a pizza here in Los Angeles that usually is like $15, $60. So it was worth it. It was a really good pizza and let me know which other foods can I try in this channel. I'm Johnny Foyce and you're watching Italian Exploring Food. Subscribe to the channel and why not push the like button. Thank you guys.